Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another weigh-in slash chit-chat video. I think we really need to call these weekly chit-chat videos because that's pretty much what it's become. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but I do provide the points for all three programs on my channel. So this week's chit-chat is probably going to be really quick. The reason being is it has been a crazy, crazy week this week. It's actually Friday. Friday night at 5.30. I just got done working. I was teleworking yesterday and today. So my weigh-ins are on Thursdays. Usually I weigh in in the morning and then Thursday night I usually film my weigh-in and then I usually have it up by Friday morning. This, I apologize. I don't even know when this is going to be up by the time you're watching it. I'm thinking it's going to be maybe sometime Saturday. So right now it's Friday, had a crazy week. I'm gonna have my grandson tonight. I have a baby shower to go to tomorrow. So I'm trying to get it all in. The good thing is I got my Meal Planet and Grocery Haul already filmed, so I kind of did things a little bit backwards this week. But I was honestly not even gonna put this video up. I was just gonna put up something and let you all know that I'm not gonna be doing this this week, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna hop on real quick and just get it done because I do wanna fill you in on a couple things. So you all know I've had a pretty stressful week. We had a very crazy week at work this week, very busy, and also I'm dealing with some insurance things if you're not familiar my husband was in a car accident last week with my car the good news is there was nobody hurt everybody is okay and we did just find out that they think they can fix my car so they think it's fixable it's gonna cost quite a bit to fix it but they feel that it can be done so crossing my fingers on that that I'll have my car back here <laughs> within the next month anyway so my husband did want me to tell you all thank you very much for all your well wishes he really appreciates it he was sore for a couple days after that but other than that he hasn't had any issues so we're very 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 thankful for that so weigh-in came yesterday and my husband and I both decided we were gonna take a pass this week so we both decided we were not gonna weigh in this week it's been a rough week. Did great with breakfast and lunch. I had my breakfast and lunch prep. Dinners were okay, except for Wednesday night, the night before weigh-in, we did decide to go to dinner. And it was a last minute thing. We just, so much going on this week. We just kind of had to bump some things with dinners. So we decided that we weren't gonna weigh in on Thursday, both my husband and I. He feels like he's up. I felt like I was up. I felt like I was holding because, you know, I ate dinner with sodium uh, Wednesday night but then I decided that you know what it is what it is and I need to just get on the scale because the thing is then when I do real good this week next week might show a gain when in fact it was really a loss so I got on the scale knowing I was gonna be up I honestly I thought I was gonna be up like four pounds but the scale said I was up 2.2 so I'm not really happy with that but I honestly thought it was gonna be more so here is my thing I know what I need to do I can give you all all the advice in the world but I'm human and sometimes I don't take my own advice and I'm gonna be straight up honest with you all as you know I always will be I found myself giving myself permission to snack more for me the problem is it's not like I'm sitting here overeating on a bunch of stuff so this week I just wanted a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and so I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and by the time you add all those points together I mean three points for one tablespoon of jelly so it all adds up and that one sandwich is a lot of points when i only get 23 points a day that's how i end up overeating so my breakfast is great because i've meal planned and meal prep my breakfast my lunch my dinner but the snacking or if i just want a sandwich you know a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in the late afternoon things like that those are the things that i did this week that i shouldn't have done and those are the things that i did because i gave myself permission to do it i'm going to be flat out honest with you i told myself you got a lot going on you've got this you've got that you go ahead you're okay you can get back on it next week that's what i did and how many of you can relate to doing that when you have stressors in your life so i don't really say that i stress eat when i have things going on but i it's almost like I give myself permission to eat different things and to eat the extra points. So that's where I'm at. And But the bottom line is it's done. It's over with. I had a great day today. I'm going to continue having a good day today and get right back on track. I'm not going to look back and I'm not going to dwell on it. It is what it is. It's in the past. I get a new set of points and that's it. So that's where I stand now. 
But let me know in the comments how you all are doing and let me know how you did on the scale. Remember, just because the scale doesn't show doesn't mean that you don't have non-scale victories. So make sure to let me know any non-scale victories that you've had. So very quickly, talk about meal prep review. For breakfast, I did the butterscotch pancake muffins and we absolutely loved those. Couldn't believe how much those six butterscotch chips just kind of melted down into it. It was so good. Really, really liked those. I just nuked them in the microwave for about 30 seconds. One day I heated them too much. I didn't like them overheated. I liked them where they were just a little bit warm and then I drizzled it with some syrup and they were really good. For lunch prep was the Hungry Girl Chicken Fajita Casserole. I will say that is an excellent meal to have, like to cook it and then eat it right away. Reheated wasn't the greatest. I did reheat it in the microwave one day and I just didn't care for the way that the tortillas were. They were kind of soggy. They weren't really, um, they weren't really crispy. I did it in the convection oven one day and that was better. Um, but still not as crispy. So Jamie, great idea. Jamie had a great idea and she commented and said what she would probably do is cook the tortillas, like cut it up, cook them first and just set them aside in a bag so they don't get soggy. Uh, the other thing you could probably do is just get, I think they have ones that you can buy. I'm not sure what the point is on it, but they're like, um, tortilla crisps. I've used them on recipes before, so that's something you can do too. But other than that, the flavor was really good. I did really like that. My husband wasn't a big fan of this one. Um, he said that it was just something with the way the vegetable mixture was in it, but I, re I really liked the flavor. So it was just the, the tortillas that were a little bit too, too soft for my liking. So I didn't get any projects done this week. Uh, like I said, it's just been, just been a crazy week. So since I didn't plan on doing this video, I really don't have a topic this week. And since I'm in a hurry, I really don't want to rush through. So we're going to skip a topic this week. So I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. It is, as you can see from the date back there, it is Friday the 13th. So hopefully you're all having a wonderful day, Friday the 13th in 2020. How crazy is that? Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> today's been okay so far so I hope y'all have a fantastic weekend even though by the time you see this I'm sure your weekend is half over so if you're new I hope you'll subscribe to my channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk to y'all in my next video I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy